Hi again, everybody. Welcome to another edition of Gamecock Insider. I'm your host, Derek Scott from Colonial Life Arena. It is March. That means March Madness can't be too far behind. The Gamecock women's basketball team will soon be back in this building hosting NCAA tournament games, one would presume. We've got lots of coverage of Carolina women's basketball here on the show today. Lots more to get into as well. We'll talk swimming and diving. We've got baseball and lots, lots more to get into. We start as always with our Prisma Health Injury Report and that covers Gamecock men's basketball. Chico Carter, the senior from here in Columbia, has really been slowed down by a knee injury of late, has missed the last few games. And finally, Chico's made the very difficult decision to undergo surgery. So he is done for the season. We certainly hate to hear that, but we wish him the best in his recovery. And that is your injury update brought to you by Prisma Health, the official team physicians of the Gamecocks. As we mentioned, Carolina women's basketball was here at CLA recently. They were celebrating Senior Day and the highly decorated senior class that has already won one national championship. And it was their final regular season game in this building. Certainly not their final game overall in this building, but nonetheless, Senior Day means special things to those who get the opportunity to celebrate it. And for Aaliyah Boston and Zaya Cook and others, it was indeed a very special day. Uh, a lot of emotions right now here at CLA. As we get set for basketball, Gamecocks trying to take sole possession of the SEC regular season championship here on the final game of the regular season. Ball in the air, tip is controlled by the Gamecocks moving left to right, here we go. Georgia as expected coming out in the zone, saw a lot of jump defense in that first game where they had three and sometimes four around Aaliyah Boston. Boston holds it up top. She was just one out of six from the floor against Georgia in that first meeting. High post to Boston again, shot clock halfway down. She'll drive, pull up from 14, got it. There you go. No good. Cardoso with the rebound, and the Gamecocks have it. Outlet to Raven. Raven scoots down the floor, feeds it underneath to L.A. L.A. off the window for two, and the Gamecocks lead. Needs some help. Feeds it left corner to Zaya Cook. Zaya from the corner for three. Bang, got it. Three-pointer for Zaya Cook, and the Gamecocks lead it 35-27. Zaya Cook beats Boston down low, spins, shoots, scores. That looked easy. Aaliyah Boston passes left to Beal. Back to Boston on the left elbow. Tip it right side to Fletcher. 15-foot jumper is good. Here, Fletcher with a nice, sweet stroke makes it 67-55. Gamecocks lead by 12 with 137 to play. And Olivia Thompson will check in on senior day. The senior from Lexington will pick up Kira Fletcher for her first action in the final home game of her career. Motion's running high for her. She gets a nice round of applause. And now the seniors will get their curtain call as Chloe Kitts, Sanaya Fagan, and Breezy Hall will check in. Out goes Beal, Boston, and Cook. 14.8 seconds to play. Georgia ball, but Carolina's lead is 10. And the crowd on their feet here to celebrate this senior class. The Gamecocks can dribble out the clock. The South Carolina Gamecocks are SEC champions. There will be no sharing. They've run the table here in the regular season. Run their record to 29-0, 16-0 in the SEC, knocking off Georgia 73-63 on senior day. Wait 
be a part of a uh, way to make history. Seventy-three, sixty. the final score, South Carolina wraps up a perfect regular season with the win over Georgia, and it was Aaliyah Boston leading the way one more time with another double-double. We've got more of Gamecock Insider in just a moment from Learfield. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and by Liberty Tap Room. Liberty Tap Room is the new home for Carolina Calls with Gamecock men's and women's basketball. Meet us at Liberty at 6 p.m. on Thursdays during the season for Carolina Calls. Liberty Tap Room and Grill, Cocky's favorite place to eat in the Vista. Hey, Gamecock fans. I'm Coach Dawn Staley. The best teams are the ones that are always willing to do more. More in the weight room, more in the classroom, more for each other. And it's important for our team doctors to have the same mindset with access to more locations, more specially trained experts, and more personalized care. Prisma Health is doing even more to care for our team and our fans. Prisma Health, official healthcare system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight, including Ford F-150 and the all-new Ford Super Duty. Or check out Ford Maverick and Ford Ranger. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you, where there's a great selection in stock. Now, get F-150 with 3.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,500 bonus cash and take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors, locally, in towns large and small. From the heartland to the coast, our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. Gamecock fans, Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this basketball season. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to be Cocky's game day guest. Winners will receive a special invitation to Coach's Radio Show, tickets to that weekend's game, hotel accommodations, and the unique opportunity to join Cocky on the sideline during pregame. Visit uscontest.com to register today. Cocky's game day guest is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Well, baseball season is a couple weeks underway now as we welcome you back to Gamecock Insider. And for South Carolina, it has been nothing but good news. Carolina coming out of the gate with nine consecutive wins, including two home sweeps on the weekend. Most recently, that was against a very testy pin team from the Ivy League. Our camera crew has been there to capture highlights throughout that nine game winning streak to start the season at Founders Park. Let's take a look back at some of the biggest moments. Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to college baseball. It's 2023 season opener for the Carolina Gamecocks. Yes, indeed, baseball is back in the capital city, and Tommy, we are ready to get this season started. High expectations, and obviously, coming off of a season in which no one was satisfied with how things went, mm -hmm. I think that gets us all even more anxious to get this one underway. It's nice to be ranked 23rd in the nation by D1 Baseball. Uh, as we begin this 23 season. But South Carolina's got some pitching. They've got a lot of depth in pitching they haven't had in the last several years. And boy, that's a, that's a great place, place to start. In fact, that's the best place to start. Three two pitch to Ginther. And he swings and misses at a breaking ball. And that was a beaut. 0 2 from Sanders. Swing and a miss. He got it on three consecutive breaking balls, but as Lowell got Sanders. We'll count now to Talmadge Lecroy leading off the second, and he hits this one in the air to right center field. Breaking on it is Syracuse. He chases it in the gap. He dives. He can't get it. It's off the wall, and Lecroy turns second, and he's looking for three bags, and he will have it as he slides in safely with a leadoff triple here in the bottom of the second inning. Working quickly, the 1-1 one, one to McGillis. Hit well, right field, carrying, and gone! Over the fence, over the bullpen, and on to the walkway, and Will 
but Gillis gives the Gamecocks the lead, two to one, with the first home run of the season for the Garnet. One one to Messina, lifted in the air center field, breaking back on it is Syracuse. He's at the wall, and it is gone. I don't think that one was ever more than 20 feet off the ground. But it cleared the fence in straightaway center field and Cole Messina, two run homer. There's a line drive in the right center field and that dog will hunt. That ball is over the fence. There's a drive towards right field off the bat of Wimmer. That ball is going to be way out of here. Them guy bats having fun right now. Strike three call, another slider. He struck him out. And the Gamecocks have one on opening day. We're feeling great, baby. We're feeling great. We're feeling great. From Founders Park in Columbia, South Carolina, it's college baseball and the final game of a three-game opening series to South Carolina Gamecocks. Look to try to keep the offense rolling and then look for the sweep against UMass Lowell. 37 runs through two games, approaching series record total. Skip, it's been Murderer's Row here in Columbia. Yeah, it has been, Dave. Anytime you can get that kind of offense, you think that, well, you can do about anything to win a game. But pitching and defense has been really good for South Carolina as well. Anytime you try to sweep a team, you have to be able to be ready to play all three games. And South Carolina is definitely going to have to be ready to play as UMass Lowell is, is starting a really good guy for them today. Two height belts, who's making sure and taking good deep breaths before every pitch. Five strikeouts for Mahoney. And the Riverhawks go down in order once again. Here comes another righty in Wimmer. Dangerous one with runners on first and second. That's hard hit to fish. Great start for Mark Kingston's squad. They've got one more non-conference weekend coming up against Bethune-Cookman, and then it's SEC play right around the corner. Let's talk a little bit now about our Pest Player of the Week, brought to you by Terminex. We were already on the subject of women's basketball. The name Aaliyah Boston came up, of course, doesn't it most weeks here on this program. But for Aaliyah, a really special week, both in terms of her performance as well as the recognition she has received for it. In the final regular season game against Georgia, a double-double, 25 points, 11 rebounds to lead the way to the victory over the Bulldogs to cap off the perfect regular season. Then, more recently, recognition from the Southeastern Conference. For the fourth consecutive year, Ali has been named the SEC's Defensive Player of the Year. She also was named the Overall Player of the Year. Of course, she's first team All-SEC. So congratulations to Aliyah Boston, who is, once again, our Terminix Pest Player of the Week. Also, kudos to Don Staley for earning yet another Coach of the Year in the SEC and a number of others on that Gamecock women's team for earning all SEC recognition. We're back with more of Gamecock Insider in just a moment. It's all brought to you by Learfield. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Perfect. Nice. nice. Huh. As long as we're imagining. Give it up for your radio mission champion. Oh, come on. Right now, lease a new 2023 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $309 a month for 36 months. That's just $309 a month on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. I was perfectly happy where I was. I just coached one of the biggest games of my life. Then, just three days later, I was moving to South Carolina. That was unexpected. But that's how life works. Colonial Life's benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments, empowering people to achieve their goals and keep moving forward. Colonial Life, keep unexpected. 
Gamecock Fans Farm Bureau Insurance wants to give you a VIP game day experience this basketball season. Visit uscontest.com and register for your chance to be Cocky's game day guest. Winners will receive a special invitation to Coach's Radio Show, tickets to that weekend's game, hotel accommodations, and the unique opportunity to join Cocky on the sideline during pregame. Visit uscontest.com to register today. Cocky's game day guest is brought to you by Farm Bureau Insurance, here for all your auto, home, and life insurance needs. Good hard work has earned Adam Luckhurst the title of Colonial Life Academic Athlete of the Week. A member of the men's soccer team, Adam is a finance major with a 3.67 grade point average. This week's academic athlete is brought to you by Colonial Life. Colonial Life, the benefits of good hard work. There's a runner at third now with two outs, one-two pitch. Swung on a miss, he struck him out. 83 with a straight change. That's your Sansbury. Did you see that play? Carolina's right-hander Noah Hall, who was the SEC Pitcher of the Week for his dominant performance over the Penn Quakers. He recorded that huge strikeout to end the seventh inning. It was a one to nothing game, and Penn had the tie and run at third base. Noah got really excited after coming up with that big K on his way to getting the Gamecocks the shutout victory. Turning our attention now to Carolina Swimming and Diving. That's a program that we haven't had a chance to really shine the spotlight on here on Gamecock Insider, and we wanted to do so. Great things going on over in the pool. Let's hear a little bit more about it. I was never going to be a diver, but here we are. Both my parents were divers, um, and then my dad was a diving coach since, like, the 80s. My mom was in swim coach, and I did not like to swim, so she was like, the next thing you can do is diving. So judges are looking for beauty, basically. They're looking for perfection. Uh, they're looking for how, 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 how do you look in the air, how tight are you, the splash in the water, uh, if you point at your toes, your lineups. Uh, they're, they're looking for everything. Yeah, you just have to like trust that your body knows exactly what to do. Um, and let it do it. It's a lot. I think, you know, the years of training really add up to a perfect dive and you're never really going to get a perfect dive. Um, but, you know, it's a lot of the little things. Um, you know, as the oldest person on this team, you know, really um, helping guide everybody. You know, I'm going into my fifth SECs now, so um, I've been there, done that. Um, but, you know, just being a leader on this team and um, being part of something bigger than just me is awesome. Oh, it's been such an honor, honestly. I love the atmosphere in this place. Uh, just everything about South Carolina and being a Gamecock, I'm so proud of it. I remember when I came here and I, I was by myself in the locker room and I took a moment and sat down and I just like realized everything that was going on. It was like a moment of like gratitude. You know, I was like, wow, I'm so proud to be a Gamecock. It felt like, it felt like home. Turn hard working days into happy nights. Our battery 8K homeowner system starts at just $199.99. Real Steel. Find yours at over 10,000 local steel dealers. Hey Gamecock fans, I'm Coach Lamont Paris. The best teams are the ones that are always willing to do more. More in the weight room, more in the classroom, more for each other. And it's important for our team doctors to have the same mindset. With access to more locations, more specially trained experts, and more personalized care, Prisma Health is doing even more to care for our team and our fans. Prisma Health, official health care system and team physicians for the Gamecocks. Don Staley has brought a second national championship back to South Carolina. Throughout my life, my friends and my family have supported me through the championships and the challenges. That's why it's so important for me to lift people up, to help them overcome the obstacles in their way. Colonial Life Benefits keep you prepared for life's unexpected moments, empowering people to achieve goals they thought weren't possible. 
That's what really matters. Colonial life, keep on expecting. Imagine yourself in a new Toyota. Perfect. Nice. nice. Huh, as long as we're imagining. Give it up for your radio mission champion! Me? Oh, come on. Right now, lease a new 2023 Toyota RAV4 LE for just $309 a month for 36 months. That's just $309 a month on the Toyota RAV4. Ready, set, go get your Toyota today. Toyota, let's go places. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. I'm Derek Scott at Colonial Life Arena. You know, it wasn't that many years ago that the PA announcer would recognize Dwayne Notice for hitting a big three-pointer. He was a member of Carolina's Final Four team. Canadian who put together a great career here for Gamecock basketball. We had a chance recently to catch up with Dwayne in his hometown of Toronto on our Gamecock Talk podcast. Got into some really interesting memories from the Final Four season and find out what he's up to these days. Let's take a quick look. So you win that first game over Marquette and then you realize, wow, we're playing Duke next. <laughs> Uh, and that whole experience was, you know, I think for all of us that were there, it was just such a wild ride. Uh, what do you remember about the Duke win? Obviously, that was of all the five NCAA tournament games, that was probably your best game individually. Yeah. I think I think you had 17 uh, in that one. Uh, what do you remember about that game? Is there a particular moment or or play from that game? Uh, I have a lot. First thing was definitely Coach K, like uh, shaking his hand um, after the game and him just saying the kind words to me that you said just because I had a good game, whatever the case may be. But also before the game, just like, man, that's Coach K. Like, <laughs> like I was on the court, like this guy, it, it kind of reminds me of when I hear stories about when, when my parents and people talk about Prince. I'm like, it's just like Coach K, just such an energy and an aura. Like he was floating. He's like best dressed and he's just like so cool. Um, So to play against him and then um, I definitely will never forget uh, Sindarius talking to Jason Statham, them, them two going back and forth at it. Uh, that was funny, too. Um, Jason Statham, uh, um, sorry, Jason Tatum made yeah. a, I'm thinking about movies. <laughs> <laughs> Jason Tatum uh, was, uh, he had made a comment um, where he was like, he's like, you think I care about this? I'm going to the NBA or something like that. And something clicked in my head where I was like, these guys don't take us serious. Like in the first couple of minutes, I could tell they didn't they didn't take us serious, and I I don't know if they thought that we thought we were gonna be like oh it's Duke or whatever. But our whole message the night before was we tie our shoes the same way they tie our shoes. Like it doesn't matter. So once I'll never forget. I don't know what point it was, but I remember when when he said that to Sendarius during a free throw, and I heard that I'm like we're definitely probably gonna win this game because they're definitely not respecting their opponent. Um, type of thing, but there's so many memories from my mom who doesn't really ha hadn't had a chance to go to South Carolina and watch any of my like uh, any of my games except for senior night. Uh, she was in the stands. Um, me making a layup, me making a three, and doing the little thing right here, and it was in the newspaper the next day. I had that frame. That was an amazing experience too. The atmosphere was crazy. Um, I'll never forget Justin. Justin Mackey had a dunk, and that was so big because that's like one of my best friend, good friends, and he was my roommate. And just to see him dunk against Duke and. PJ had a great game, Chris Silva. Everybody was just hitting on all cylinders. Like, Kay Felder, like, oh, I mean, I, Rock just came out killing. Like, it was Hassani. Um, it was a great team win. It was a great experience. We got to knock off Duke. It was something that, like, I'll never, ever, ever forget. Um, there was just so many memories within that game. But like I said, like, in that moment, like, even when I watched back some of the Final Four stuff or whenever we went certain games, like, even my reaction was not the same as, like, a Sendarius or Justin who ran to the crowd or who threw the ball in the air because, like, I'm trying to tell you guys, I didn't even understand, like, how big of a deal, like, the tournament was. And now I have a brother that plays for Texas, and he went to the tournament last year, and they'll probably be in the tournament again this year. And now I'm looking at, like, how everybody else looked at it, uh, like it was such a big deal. But at the time, I was like, oh, okay, cool. Like, we won, like... Download the Gamecock app and play three points the hard way. Brought to you by Hardee's with the best made-from-scratch biscuits. If the women's basketball team makes three three-pointers in a game, you can score a free sausage biscuit at Hardee's the day after the game during breakfast hours. Get your biscuit at participating Columbia and Spartanburg area Hardee's. Feed your happy and order ahead at Hardee's.com. Good morning, America. Today, thousands of our teammates will make and deliver over 300 of the world's best brands and flavors, locally, in towns large and small. 
from the heartland to the coast. Our products are moving and our trucks are rolling. We share a passion and a purpose. We love to refresh and serve our communities. We are Coca-Cola Consolidated, your local bottler. a little gift and say welcome to the neighborhood oh. and we want to invite you guys out this weekend we're having a little tailgate in the cul-de-sac go get gawks right right put it all back babe get your stuff yeah it matters that much This is Ford Truck Month, America. Time to get up and get into Ford F-Series, America's best-selling trucks for 46 years straight, including Ford F-150 and the all-new Ford Super Duty. Or check out Ford Maverick and Ford Ranger. So get into Ford Truck Month and see what a built Ford Tough truck can do for you, where there's a great selection in stock. Now, get F-150 with 3.9% financing for 72 months plus 1,500 bonus cash and take advantage of complimentary premium maintenance care offers. For over 40 years, Sound & Images has been South Carolina's corporate multimedia partner for live events. Sound & Images is also your resource for commercial audiovisual installations. Help your teams collaborate more efficiently with a custom crafted AV solution from Sound & Images. Whether you want a single monitor upgrade or a turnkey AV system, we are dedicated to helping you incorporate easy to use technology into your space. And we offer the best in class support and service. Elevate your AV. Call Sound & Images today. Gamecock Insider is brought to you by Prisma Health, the official health care provider of the Gamecocks, and by Liberty Tap Room. Liberty Tap Room is the new home for Carolina Calls with Gamecock men's and women's basketball. Meet us at Liberty at 6 p.m. on Thursdays during the season for Carolina Calls. Liberty Tap Room and Grill, Cocky's favorite place to eat in the Vista. Welcome back to Gamecock Insider, everybody. Time to wrap things up with our On the Road segment brought to you as always by our friends at Toyota. The Gamecock men's basketball team is headed to Nashville. It's the SEC men's tournament. Carolina will be in Music City. They'll be taking on Ole Miss in the opening round on Wednesday night and hoping to win their way into the next round and so on and so on. Meanwhile, the Carolina softball team will be headed down the road to the Holy City. They will be taking on the College of Charleston in a midweek affair this week as well. Good luck to them. And that is On the Road brought to you by Toyota. Let's go places. That'll put a wrap on things for us this week. Thanks so much for joining us here on the Gamecock Insider. I'm Derek Scott. We'll see you next week. This has been an exclusive presentation from Learfield.